Hey guys, this is Left Turn. Welcome back to my another episode of Brush Review. It is going to be very special and I promise you will love it. Here I have two types of bristles. The longer one is made of Siberian elk hair, while the orange bristle is vegan friendly. They are Lebenzon's itty bitty size brushes. In the video, I am going to do a brush test for this so that you can see the difference between the natural and synthetic hair brushes. Just so you know, Siberian elk hair is extremely rare to find. It took 4 years to try down only a small amount. I seriously feel so lucky to have this. And in case you are worried, these are environmental friendly brushes. The bamboo is from renewable source and the hair is from animals haircut. So, no animals are harmed in the making which is very important to take note of. First, let's try the orange synthetic hair brush. This is a stiffer brush, so it is a lot easier to control. The line is very thin. Now, let's try from thin to thick and back to thin. Wow, as you can see the brush carries the paint very well, leaving a very smooth flow throughout. This is what a good quality brush should do. Next, I'm going to do some up and down strokes followed by wavy lines. Okay, let's proceed to the precious Siberian elk brush. The hair feels softer but equally springy. Hmm. I noticed the lines are slightly thinner than the orange synthetic. As I said, this is definitely an excellent brush looking at how it flows so well from thin to thick to thin. Gorgeous! This is a 3 quarter inch long bristol which is suitable for dappling, making leaves, bushes, etc. It also comes in half inch long bristol that is ideal for calligraphy. Now look at the wavy line. Instead of having the same thickness throughout like the orange synthetic one on the left, the brush made the line thin when it goes up and thick when it goes down. The brush is quite versatile despite being in an itty bitty size. Ah, I love it already. Okay, now I'm going to show you how much paint each bristle can carry by painting a spiral without lifting the brush. This is the orange synthetic. Well, I must say for a synthetic hair brush and its size, this is pretty amazing. Okay, now we're going to find out if Siberian elk hair brush is worth buying. Oh 
Oh my god! The line is still very clear and unbroken. Look at the number of rings I've painted with this one tiny little brush. Alright, let's do a quick comparison between the two. On the left, we have the Sibera L, which is the winner! But for a synthetic hair, I must say that this orange brush on the right is equally amazing. What do you think guys? Which one would you get? Before you go, thank you so much for watching my brush test video. Please comment below which brush you would rather have, the Siberian Elk or the Orange Synthetic and why. Also, please let me know what other videos you would like to see in the future. Thank you so much. Please remember also to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you!